Welcome to another segment on PSC Deep Dive on breast implant safety and specifically talking about a controversial article that's been published in the Annals of Surgery. I'm here with three experts, Dr. Caroline Glixman, Dr. Bruce Van Atta, and Dr. Christy Hustack. Caroline, do you want to lead us off on your, your comments on, on this paper? Um, I am a reviewer in uh, several of our large journals, and unfortunately I did not have the opportunity to uh, view this manuscript before it was accepted for publication. But I can clearly see from what was pooled in the data um, that it was sort of a meta-analysis, which means that it's pooled data from different studies with different designs, um, and it was sort of a, a paper that probably never should have been published. The most important thing to me is that this paper is um, considered as peer-reviewed literature by the media, by the media and by other physicians and other groups. And unfortunately, it is junk science in my mind. Um, and that's where we were about 25 years ago. So we want to sort of limit this, the, the value of a paper like this, which is going to be tough when the media picks up on it. Bruce, uh, what is your, your thoughts? Well, I would absolutely echo what Caroline said here. This, it is so important in this day and age that we have uh, really good information that's being put out there because social media, the, the regular media, they're gonna pick this up and run with it. And again, this comes from a peer-reviewed journal. And that's supposed to mean that it was vetted by other experts who would have looked at this and said, wait, you're, you're putting in two different studies here that really don't mesh. And there's always weakness when you try to combine these studies. Uh, we know that, but in this case, it was particularly bad, I think. And so now we are stuck with this is out there and we have to do damage control. And, and it's a shame that this ever got published. And Christy, you know, as, as a female plastic surgeon, what, what kind of things are you going to share with your patients? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, I believe it to be a bit irresponsible, quite honestly. You know, this is going to put us back, like Dr. Glicksman said, you know, to the 90s, which I was fortunate enough not to have lived through having to do patient education at that time. But I just foresee this happening all over again, you know, where patients are coming in petrified and it's off of bad data, data that was patient reported data, for example. And we all know when patients have a mole, you know, they don't mole versus melanoma. Sometimes those things mix. And a lot of this data was pulled from patient reported data and, and, and patients just don't know so none of these things were verified and you know there's simple correlations in there that that we know causation and correlation as scientists and scientific surgeons are not the same thing and so you know one of the data points was that you know uh, breast implants could be protective for lung cancer for example so in my mind let's put more implants in because we're going to save women from lung cancer if you look at the data that way so it's a, it's a bit irresponsible and uh you know this uh, it's hard this is going to be hard Carolyn, you know, the, this, this whole concept of data mining, I would call it, is, it's, been, it's not something new to our specialty, but it's a real problem, not only because people that don't really have a background in it gets here something that's picked up by the media who also may not have an in-depth understanding of it, and ultimately it's just bad information for patients. Right, I mean, the breast implant controversy, there's nothing in, in our um, area of plastic surgery that's more entwined with emotions and politics and money. Um, and you know, you can follow the paper trail back to the, to the 80s and the 90s when, the, when litigation gets involved, they're gonna jump on a paper like this to use it for the plaintiff's side. And unfortunately, it's junk science. We, we do have some pretty good strict regulations in the courtroom now to limit this and expert testimonies and, and uh, scientific data has to be supported. So I don't think this paper is going to go too far, but it is out there now. The most important thing is the damage it does to our patients who will read an article like this or a recent Good Morning America piece that was done by a similar, by the, uh, the same author. Um, and, and there's some issues here with um, uh, fear mongering and, and just producing a crisis. What we do want is good science and we do want to get to the bottom of any illnesses that may be associated with implants. We're not, you know, blowing them off. We listen to our patients, but the importance is to have have good data and really to use that data to make you know truly scientific publications. I want to thank our, our experts for their time and stay tuned for our next segment on this subject in PSC Deep Dive.